Hey, what up? It's your boy NWP, and today we'll be talking about the new cross-platform play between PlayStation and Xbox on Fortnite. But before we get into that and the Season 6 spoilers, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell next to it so that you can get alerted anytime that I drop a new video because you know I'm awesome and it helps the channel greatly, and I'll appreciate it. But seriously, Xbox, PlayStation, finally... PlayStation has let us come to some form of, uh, you know, agreement. You know, they even, like, worded it funny to make it sound like, you know, they were still against it with, like, you know, a select third party. You know, like, as if we were thinking, like, we were going to log into Xbox Live on our PlayStations almost. Like, no, no one thought that was going to happen. But this was all a very, very obvious tactic being played by Epic, uh, in a sense, that they pulled one of their cards. Like I was saying before, uh, you know, while PlayStation can say no cross platform with Xbox, that doesn't work that way because simply put, uh, you know, they could, the game developers could make the game work across, you know what I mean? They're not directly using uh, PlayStation or Xbox servers like that. So it, it's just nonsense. But because season six is coming, okay. And blackout is coming. We've got this crazy looking llama here, okay? It's the llama DJ. Take a look at it. That's a little season six spoiler there. But because of these little, uh, you know, ch things that are coming up right in the next couple days, basically, Fortnite has a chance to survive through the blackout wave, which, if blackout released a week ago, or was it like two weeks ago now? I don't. I can't remember exactly when the beta was going on. But if Blackout had released on the final day of the uh, beta test, every single person would have still been playing it right now. And I don't think they would have lost any sales on the actual multiplayer for COD. They could offer that for free and allow people to play it. They could have kept it as a pre-order bonus for all the people that pre-ordered. You can still play Blackout till the game releases. It would have been a genius marketing move. However, they gave Fortnite three weeks. Well, technically, they gave Epic Games three weeks or so to come up with some type of last-ditch effort to keep the game as relevant as possible. Now, I'm not saying that it's ever going to die, but when you're talking about the feedback of Blackout, a lot of people were liking Blackout, and it's honestly because of the building. I'm not even going to lie to you. The building in Fortnite has gotten a lot of people agitated because, you know, when you play a shooter and now somebody, you know, erects a wall in a quarter of a second, you know, like 10 milliseconds, a wall has come up and protected them. That's kind of ridiculous. And the fact that it is, you know, spammably repeatable, it's caused some waves in the uh you know fps in third person shooter um communities to say the least and you can see clearly that people like to shoot and get hit markers and see the person die that they've shot at that's like that's how the games work nobody wants to continuously shoot at you chase you around go up and down I don't understand how Fortnite got popular except for that little kids really like playing building games. And that's not really a stereotype in the, in a sense that even when I was a kid, like, I loved to play SimCity, you know. Now that is the most boring thing I could think about playing, you know. Like, I'm looking for a little bit of action. So I really think this game thrives off of uh, more children than, uh, you know, even teenagers and, and uh, or young adults and adults themselves i think this game pretty much feeds off of the the adolescent uh group the uh sub teenagers or the uh very fresh teenagers in a sense like um you know when you're 14 you know it's not the same as like a 17 year old you know what i mean like your mentality is completely different and just looking around at the uh the viewership in uh the facebook and youtube streams uh, i really don't watch fortnite on twitch i don't know why I just, just none of the Twitch streamers really entertain me like that. However, if you were to look, you'll notice that it is really, really a younger bracket of viewers that will watch Fortnite. And it is really cartoony, but that doesn't mean anything to me in terms of, like, is a game crappy because it looks cartoony? I don't think so. I think that, uh, especially in this specific situation, Fortnite looks amazing. The 
textures in Fortnite might be cartoony, but if you really look in and you look at like you know the bow moving on my back, uh, the back blings that move, the hair that moves, and all of these different, um, you know, nuances that um, really change what goes on with graphics in a game heavily. Uh, Fortnite's got a lot of them going for it, and it's fairly well optimized. I mean. You know, I've seen better optimized games, but uh, for Epic, no offense to Epic, for Epic, this is pretty good because the frame rate definitely holds better than uh, Gears of War ever did. And uh, definitely the weapon play is a lot more fun than Gears of War ever was. And I love Gears of War, don't get me wrong, but I can see that they're like training people to play with a shotgun and like go play Gears of War when the new one comes out. And nobody's going to do it, man. Like, you know, sure, like Nick Merckx might go play the new Gears of War for like a week or two. But nobody's going to really play it. And I like I don't know where this music just randomly came from. Well, what the hell was that? <laughs> is that? Is that an emote? Like, is this dude emoting? Was that, was that happening right there? And I don't even know. I didn't hear that, I don't think, in the game while I was playing. I'm, I'm like 9 million percent in that. So, <laughs> that, that was weird. Uh, yeah, guys, you know, like, Fortnite Season 6 is going to bring some changes, and it's going to have its first real competition because PUBG has never been, uh, you know, a real competitor for Fortnite. And when, once Fortnite blew up, it was over. Now, if you're wondering why when I was scoping there, it was like bobbing in and out, like almost like it was zooming in and out, that is aim abuse. Now, if you're unfamiliar with aim abuse, I'm actually going to do an aim abuse video uh, coming up soon. It'll be somewhat similar to my uh, aim assist video, and I'm going to show you basically and explain to you how this works when you abuse uh, the aim assist system. And I don't know, you know, what kind of feedback this will have from the game developers, whether it be positive or good, but um, I don't really know of a fix in my own mind that would uh, change this game or any game for that matter. To, I don't even know like how to I don't even know how to word this like realistically speaking none of this like is really that great for gaming in the sense that if you can use anything to abuse and not actually aim yourself you're not actually the one doing the damage you know it's it's the game doing it for you that being said um when it's already in the game does that mean that it's like cheating if you do it ah it's sketchy because it isn't exactly a glitch, but it isn't exactly working as intended. So, you know, it's it's kind of a cross there. And uh, me personally, I, I, I'm i using it, but is it, do I think it's right necessarily? I don't know. I'm, a, I'm, I'm the bad guy. I'll do things that I don't morally think are the greatest idea. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's definitely something that can be used to your advantage and you might want to use it to your advantage specifically while it lasts on pc you really can't do it unless you're using a controller if you're using a controller it's going to um i mean yeah okay somebody with a really good like twitch reaction is going to hit you with a with you know with mouse and keyboard pretty stably but um it, this is this is going to like even it up in a sense that you're relocking to the target. You're not locking onto a target, but you're relocking like to the movement. So it could be some big stuff. Ah, it's just so sketchy. And uh, as you can see here, it's just like how many shots actually hit that guy with, you know, it, it, it just becomes like, is this real? Like, should this be allowed? Um, and, and the people do it, you know, themselves by hand. Like, you know, the, you don't need a mod controller to do this. Like, you, you, it, a mod controller helps greatly to make it uh, a rapid, you know, in and out, in and out kind of thing. But it can be done, and it's, like, literally shown to you in, like, uh, Modern Warfare. Like, the original Modern Warfare, when you do the very first little intro mission that has you running through, like, the kill house, it tells you to left trigger to change targets quickly but guys i'm gonna end the video there because we're getting out on a long tooth rant about nothing i want to thank you for watching 
Thank you for liking and thank you for subscribing. All you guys that come through and watch the, the, the channel are always awesome and I always get extra views. Thank you.